Oh boy. Okay. Well. Up and running. It's starting to do it again. I'm not even kidding. It actually did it again. It's actually timed out right now. It actually just happened. But that is not in this is the most unbelievable shit that I've ever experienced in my entire life.
That, that might fix the volume. I have my mic volume low, low. Hold up. Alrighty, hopefully that sounds a lot better. I'm not sure. It doesn't Discord. hate semi hold he literally just runs his business doesn't respond to anybody who's complaining about how it doesn't work and just continues to collect money like that's just insane to me that's like straight up fucking bonkers to my brain that that is actually how he's running a business So hold on. I'm gonna restart the server. Uh oh. Now I'm gonna name a name, and you're gonna tell me if they're in the server or not, okay? Uh, what in the server list players? Yeah, do it like that. That's fine. Okay, let me let me load in. Let me load in. 
a streamer listening to the behind the scenes, oh, you're gonna love okay. it. Oh wait, okay. So everything everything is working smooth on my Okay, end. I got list players up. Start listing names. Okay. Um Zane Yurek. Yes. He is? Yes. I'm just gonna say yes or no. I don't know, let me look at the fucking Alright, he made it through. So I'm gonna remove him from the LCP. Rasmus Balzer. Um. No. You're moving the Unk. Impact. Uh, UID should be three four nine nine nine. No, he's not. No. Aiden Stevenson is correct. Yes. He made it through the main. He did. Brent Heinzelman. Um, I don't think so. No. UID three two seven nine six. Three two seven nine six. No. Really, you feel like none of them start with three two. One of them starts with three two, and it's three two eight eight nine. <laughs> okay. Luke Foger. Um. No. Spinelli. Who? Tony Spinelli. No. Kyle Yoka Yonakura? No. Josh Crummett? What's the UAD? 44019. No. That surely is in here, but he made it through, I think. He did. Yeah, he definitely did. He had the last transfer spot, huh? Uh, UID 30293. No. H, okay, uh, UID 5929, or 5629, 5629. No. Sonny Spicer. He's in uh, here. Jake Spies. Uh, I don't think Jake is. Jake Spies is not. What's his UID? Um, three zero three seven one. No, he's not. No, Wait, yes, he is. Hold on, Jake Spies is in here. Yeah. He made it through that, so remove him. Noah McLaughlin. What's his UID? Three zero zero two two. No. Or in here, Brandon Wolf. UID. Two zero seven two eight. No. Gray Smith. UID. Two one eight five four. No. Dude, Zane's beer is actually. So Four nine two zero seven. Um. No. Okay. Um. Harrison Gafford. Three seven one eight one. Three seven one eight one. Uh no. Okay. That's all. There's literally nobody that is going to race the LCQ other than Sunny is even here. We just put him in the main then. Yep. I'm doing it. Oh, you have to build the scripts manually? Yeah, because fucking Sa Sammy Holt likes to run a business where they take your money and then laugh in your face as they give you a product that doesn't fucking work. Okay. You have yeah. no idea. Oh, is there not even any LCQs? 
Uh oh. That is most unfortunate. Alright, well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and deck him, and uh, I'll leave you two to it. Alright, have fun, brother. Oh, I will. <laughs> Actually, maybe some soft jazz would be in the background, you know? Nah. Yeah, I was gonna say, actually, with as quiet as I talk, that's probably not a good idea to have something playing going with my voice. <laughs> that would be a freaking disaster if that had happened. I would agree. Alrighty, well. <coughs> Alrighty, we are officially here now. Uh, after a little bit of a mishap with Wednesday's uh, experience going very south with the website. Uh, yeah, so looking to get things underway. From what I've been told beforehand, it was like you know just a few minutes ago. We are not going to be running. LCPs. We're going to go straight into the pro head to heads and then the main events. Oh no, there is a super mini LCQ. My apologies. There's one LCQ so far, I think. And then hopefully, uh, mic and everything sounds nice. Tried making it to where background noise shouldn't be a factor. It still might be. Someone's running Jason's gear. Alrighty. Well, while everything gets set up, we're going to go ahead and watch J. Oh, never mind. We were going to watch JRAS run some laps, but not anymore. Alrighty, so here we go. This will be pro head to head number one on the night. We'll have two teammates, Seth Garrett and JR Reyes, going at it at the gate drop. So far, looking pretty even. Going, oh, Seth's going to get the whole shot. He's going to take the line from Reyes. Seth gets a little sketchy in the whoops, able to save it. Reyes up the inside. Oh, Seth Garrett is down and down hard. That opens the door for Reyes to take this away. Seth, though, oh, is getting rough getting through the rhythm section there. This is sure to be an epic comeback if Seth gets it down right, but I believe there's only two laps, so I don't know if Seth's going to be able to pull it off. There's the leader, Reyes. Who's currently ripping around the track. He's going to go ahead and take the pro head-to-head -head win. 
and I believe that will give him the optimized gate pick for the main event coming up here shortly. Seth will be very disappointed with that result, I feel like. Oh, I spoke too soon. There's the best two out of three. Alrighty. Oh, it's not letting me switch to them. There we go. Here we go. This will be round two with Reyes leading by one. They're going to get a little bit more physical. Reyes is going to go ahead and cross Seth up after Seth just got his line taken away from him. Seth will have to make a little bit of a march to come back on Reyes. Reyes trying to stay clean, probably feeling a little nervous after the win. But hey, I don't know. Seth's keeping it very close right now. This one is a lot more intense, I will tell you, than the first one. They're both going to go for the inside. Seth with a huge mistake. It's going to allow Reyes just a little bit of room to put the hammer down. Reyes gets through the rhythm kind of clean. Seth is coming up fast. It will not be enough, though. Reyes will take it 2-0. Reyes up to the podium. A lot of folks in the chat are not too happy at the moment with how this is being handled. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is a lot this is a lot easier than commentating over the heat races. There's only two guys to focus on, and they're always both gonna be in my screen. So coming up next, I believe, will be another head-to-head. -head. Uh, I'm trying to think. I cannot recall. It might, might be Seth Shirley versus someone else. I'm not too sure at, the, at this moment. But we'll figure out here in the next few minutes. I wonder. Let's try something real quick. That is not going to do what I need it to do. That is so unfortunate. Alrighty, scrap that idea. Absolutely sending it around this track right now. You know, uh, reviewing reviewing the race we just saw, I'm. I feel like if it weren't for the mistakes with Seth, it was definitely going to be a close one. I mean, it still was. I mean, no matter what the scoreboard says, two, two, one, two, zero. I mean, it, it had the. It was still a pretty close race. It's just unfortunate that one mistake, just one slip up, and you're basically done.
not be another one. We're going straight into the super mini LCQ, folks. That is, again, my bad on that call. It's all right, though. It's Friday night, 8.30, well, 9 o'clock. Nice, crisp, cool September evening here in Tulsa. And we're looking to get things back underway with Super Mini LCQ. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead. I believe this is just lined up. Gonna go ahead and watch uh, Sir Ryan Fleming try to get this whole shot. He's, he got it just by a little. So, yeah, unfortunately, though, this is the LCQ. He makes a slight mistake. Nothing super huge, you could argue. You know, just the usual. And then, yeah. This is the race everyone, well, a, ra a race before the race everyone's been waiting for. We're going to go back, actually, see if we can find him. We're going to go on board with Tristan Beat, not on board, but we're going to go ahead and watch Tristan Beats here on the start. We will not be watching Tristan Beats. That is unfortunate. Looking at who will get the whole shot. It'll be Sonny Spicer. I believe that was Ryan Fleming who made the mistake there on the YZ 125. Oh, a takeout. Race Cobble will go after Nathan Abbott. That will most likely ruin both of their chances. Another rider going down. I believe that is Jordan Miller. Sonny Spicer out with a comfortable lead. And second place is Ryan Fleming. He was definitely not not too pleased with how his heat race for this class went but he's looking to make things up right now behind them is brian hedge and loris and loris we're gonna go ahead and see we got a tight little battle here actually i think that bag oh cobble's following too so is ethan for union graphics graphic co Nathan Abbott, who has taken out turn two, is also right here in the action. I'm gonna go ahead and spectate a little bit behind Sunny here. I'm gonna go ahead and just for a lap go on board with Ryan Fleming and see what he's doing. Just a little sketchy in the whoops there. I'll tell you what though, he's looking pretty solid all around on this track right now. And that is a sh very short lap here around Tulsa. But a mistake by Sonny will allow Fleming to close the gap just a little bit more. He's inching up. Oh, getting a little sketchy in the whoops there. He's able to save it. As the lapped rider that has went down, we're on board. Or we're watching Brian Hedge. Oh no, things things seem to be pretty squared away at the present moment with what's happening. 
Ryan's got a nice little gap behind him. Still getting a little sketchy in the whoops, but he's getting through it. Up front, we got Sonny, who made a few mistakes, but he's looking like he's holding on right now. So, probably not feeling all too nervous at this moment. Oh, and in the background, that's Ryan Fleming down. That would allow Race Cobble to catch up. I'm not sure what just happened there. He took the line from Race Cobble, though, and he will, Ryan Fleming will hold on to second. Cobble going up the inside, trying to make a move, is unable to do so. Lost a little bit of momentum there in that corner with that risky maneuver. He is trying everything he can right now, though. Sets up for an inside move. Tries to take the, run, the line from Fleming. It doesn't work. Meanwhile, Sonny Spicer out front making it look easy. Now, based off of what happened here, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure where, where transfer is. But all I know is Ryan Fleming will maintain second. Followed by Race Cobble and probably... The most intense battle I think we've seen so far on the night. Really, on the two nights. A great effort by everyone. So following Race Cobble, Ethan will finish fourth. Brian Hedge, fifth. Loris, sixth. Kyler Smith will come home in seventh. Nathan Abbott, I believe is how you pronounce that, in 8th. And Tristan Moss in ninth, And then Jordan Miller, unfortunately, not able to finish the race. So next will be the main events. to guess I would imagine we're gonna see a big battle between if I if I remember the names correctly I know we'll definitely see J.R. Reyes and Seth Garrett I would bet Seth Shirley and Sonny Spicer and I think the last one I'm thinking of if I'm not mistaken is Hayden Stevenson if he is still in here let's actually check really quick Yes, he is. So you got both the Cess. Colin Allen will be a contender too. So will Zane, JR. I mean, this is a stacked, stacked main event, I'd say, personally. So we'll just have to wait and see how things go. Alrighty. This will be just the lineup check. Now I I I honestly I'm gonna go ahead and take my prediction here. Now feel free to do so yourself, but I bet It'll really come down to Seth Garrett, Seth Shirley, or 
J.R. Reyes will be those are those are gonna be the three guys that I have sitting on podium. Then again though, <laughs> it's a video game and anything anything can happen. So we'll just have to wait and see. Not sure what is happening there. Colin Allen looking pretty sharp around the track too. Really, I feel like I feel like it's anyone's game in this in this main event. We'll have ten minutes of action though coming right at you. No commercial breaks here either. Not even an ad break, I don't think. So we'll have ten minutes of uninterrupted action. We're gonna go ahead and watch Seth Shirley. Off the start and see uh, what can happen here. Looks like that is Reyes with a really good start. Shirley's going to push him wide. Shirley will be credited with the whole shot. Loris is up in second, followed by Seth. And Reyes will make lose just a little bit of time there in the corner. Not a mistake, but you know. So off on lap one. Things are already looking pretty intense. Okay, hopefully this sounds better. There will unfortunately be a lot of background noise. That's going to be the only downside to the mic tonight. Oh, Ryan Fleming moved up into fourth. So the battle was Speece, who just makes a tiny mistake by clipping the tough block on the inside. That will allow Fleming to pull away and Stevenson to pass him. I'm going to go back up front, and Loris has made a mistake, allowing Reyes and Seth Garrett to pull through. Seth Garrett and Reyes right now in a little bit of a battle. Two teammates. I would hope to see that they don't make contact. That would be quite unfortunate for the two front runners. Seth, oh, a mistake in the whoops. That'll allow Reyes to take over second, who will come up a little short on the table. Gets through the rhythm, though. Seth was right back up on his feet after the mistake. Go ahead and pull away in third. Still got a little bit of a gap to Ryan Fleming, who is currently sitting fourth. 12 seconds behind Seth Shirley. Spies looks like he's went ahead and made a few passes, or Stevenson went down. Really unsure of what happened there. Seth down in the rhythm. That's going to allow Reyes to pull a little bit farther ahead. Not sure what happened. Oh, I believe Ryan Fleming has gone down, if I'm not mistaken. I can't find Fleming anywhere. Oh, there he is. Ryan Fleming drops back into 10th. Very unfortunate series of events unfolding here. We're going to go back to this battle, though. As of now, my prediction of the top three is looking to be mostly accurate. Actually, spot on accurate with the riders. Still seven minutes though for just something to happen. Surely he's taking a quite a comfortable gap. I believe that was 10 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. But here's where things start to get pivotal. You get into that lap traffic. We've seen a lot, a lot of mistakes happen while trying to pass in the lap traffic and it's only going to get worse as e the e-road starts to kick in too some of the turns will be easier but i can promise you the faces of the jumps are not going to be simple sure they go went ahead and made it around sunny i'm not sure actually where sunny is sitting 
The gap right now out front, though, is 10 and a half seconds. Reyes with a little bobble after the whoop. Seth is closing back in. Sonny Spicer is in eighth. Loris is down again. And Shirley down in the whoops. Really after the whoops. That is really going to help Seth and Reyes close the gap. We're going to have a podium. We're going to have all three podium positions fighting here shortly. It's Reyes is down after a mistake in the whoops. That is really going to slow everyone down. Seth moves back up into second. A lap rider down off the side of the track. Reyes with another little slip up trying to take the inside. Going to lose a lot of time. Spies now closing the door. Well, not closing the door, but closing the gap to try to take over a podium position. Oh my god. Things, things have just gotten wild. Things have gotten wild. Oh, it's Seth with a mistake. I, Reyes with a mistake too. Seth is not going to lose position to Spies, but that will definitely close the gap into an uncomfortable margin. Hayden Stevenson currently sitting P4. If I'm not mistaken, he started the race back in P6 or 7. Just goes to show you. Oh, surely off the track. That is after the whoops. Seth is also off the track after the finish line. Neither of them really looked like they lost too much time here. We're going to go ahead, though, and just get a quick little onboard with Seth for a lap. This will also give you an idea of the E-Road they are currently dealing with. I mean, look at the whoops. Oh, my. The faces of the jumps, too, are torn up. Seth, go ahead and get around Sunny. He's going to go ahead and get around Sunny Spicer pretty easily. Out front, though, surely off the track again after the whoops. Those have proven to be quite a struggle in this series so far. Ooh, Seth landing on the front wheel, making everyone a little nervous. Stevenson down after the whoops. Zane will go down too. Reyes. Moving up into what I believe is third. It is. Reyes. I don't know where he dropped to after the initial mistake. But he's climbed his way back up into third. And not super far behind Seth. I believe the gap was about seven or eight seconds. Last time I saw him go across the top of the board. It is more than that. It is 11 seconds. Little bit of a goof by me yet again. Oh, Spies is down. I'm not actually sure what happened to Spies. I think Spies is down a lap now. From the original position he was sitting. Colin Allen is sitting P4 trying to get a podium. Not much is really known about him. After... I honestly didn't really get to see him race during the 2022 Supercross season. So, kind of kind of his debut. Making a little mistake. Clipping the tough block. Going out back out front, though. Seth is down. Seth Garrett with a huge mistake. Just back onto the track. Another mistake. That's allowing Reyes to close the door or close the gap again. So that 11 second gap looks like has currently dropped to just a three second gap. Two lapped riders sitting in between Seth and Reyes though. So this could, this Seth's still in a pretty comfortable position as Reyes is going to have to fight around this lap traffic. Who seems to be a little all over the place. Reyes will make the move on Spies though. One more lapped rider stands between him and Seth. Reyes with a mistake. Spies has taken him out. Oh, no. 
Where's Stevenson too far back to gain from it? Colin Allen went down though a little bit ago it would appear. Lost some time to Hayden Stevenson. Reyes back up. Surely will move Reyes. I don't believe it. The leader has lapped up into third. Surely has just shown a complete dominance tonight. I mean, that's all you can really say. He got a clear track. A great start. Seth down again. Not legs, but he is down. Reyes still sitting in third. Seth makes a collision, I believe, with Stevenson. I. This is getting too crazy to commentate. Surely looking like he's trying. I mean, not looking like he's trying. He's trying to lap the entire field here. It'd be quite a feat, honestly. Maybe. I'm not sure. But it just seemed like the right thing to say. So as it stands, you it is still your predicted top three. Seth Shirley, Seth Garrett, who has made another mistake. And now Reyes is right on him. We'll have we have an official battle for second now. Reyes taking the long way around. He's gonna launch it into the whoops. Oh! A little bit of a rough landing. Shirley's down. I What has happened? What has happened? Shirley is gonna go ahead and still take the win. Reyes third. That'll lock Seth as of now into second. Things got a little chaotic there towards the end. Surely on the podium. Gonna go ahead and celebrate just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little shot here for YouTube. Colin Allen up there, and after cuts come in, Seth will still be holding a. He'll hold on and maintain second place. Wow. That was a mouthful towards the end of that. The main event. Boy, oh boy. My throat is torched already. Twenty three seven is looking like it was the fastest lap around by Shirley. Two riders stoop down into the sub twenty four categories. Well there's three total riders in the sub twenty four. I'm sure there's going to be something made about the contact between him and Reyes. Seemed pretty unnecessary, but there's a chance we could end up seeing a protest. I'm not sure how that would affect <laughs> GG go next. Seth, that was quite a fun race to watch. You almost lapped everyone. I'm not sure, actually, if you got around Seth at the end. It was close, though. It was pretty close. That was fun to watch. going on here 
I believe. Lineups are underway, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and be right back here. All righty, we're bringing it back. I believe this is 250 amps. So we're gonna look. I'm not sure. Oh, a pile up. Tristan beats. He's gonna go ahead and secure the whole shot. That was close. Tristan yesterday, or sorry, Wednesday, from what I remember, pretty fast around this track. Following close up behind him is Race Cobble. Followed by Tristan Moss, Jordan, and Jordan Miller, and Lim Jim. Oh, who's that off the track? That's Tristan Moss. Oh, that was a. Is that another rider that was off, or is that someone that just got off the gate late? That was definitely someone who got off the gate late. Out front, though, it's still Tristan Beats and Race Cobble. Lim Jim, who I believe is Rowella, if I'm not mistaken, trying. Oh, no, he makes the pass. He's no longer trying to make the pass. He just makes it. Out front. The gap has grown quite significantly between Beats and Cobble. Unsure of what happened there, but... Something obviously did happen, and now Tristan is going to get into the lap traffic. Will this slow him down? I'm not quite sure. It might. Oh, a lapper trying to run him high. I'm not sure who that was or what they were doing. That, that was close, though. <laughs> oh, my. Ruella seems to have cleared a, or cleared Miller just a little bit. He's on a mission right now, and I believe he, oh he slid, he slid out in the corner, and there was also a mistake by Race Cobble in the same corner. It looked like both of them possibly sliding out, but that will allow the gap to grow. Cobble tucks the front wheel. He's hit by a lapper. That will allow Ruella in the second. Oh my, I would not be too happy if that were me out there. If that was a lapped rider, it's unfortunately something you've got to deal with in Arena Cross because they come up so quick. Tristan Beats is down. Rowella will take the lead. He's clipped by a lapper. Tristan is going to go ahead and reclaim his position up in first. Cobble will go ahead and come back into second. Things are... Very hectic in this AMS heat race. I believe that is... I believe that is Jace that is... I'm not sure. The number 47 bike can't really confirm if that's Jace or not. Getting a little dicey here. Hitting people and making contact. Things seem to have died down just a tiny bit. Rowella has dropped all the way back into fourth after being second. Oh my, is that, there is so much happening on this track right now. Oh, Cobble saves it in the whoops, Tristan back out front with a very comfortable lead. Getting into the mix of the lapped riders, I mean, that is, that is hard to keep up on. Well, uh, looks like, after 
he's making a charge back. Looking to try to at least get a podium out of this. It's definitely still possible. Out front, not much has changed at all. It is still the same three riders. One, two, and three. Cash Woods in fourth. Kyler Smith, I believe, is fifth, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm not sure who that was. Oh, Money Mayweather down in the whoops. That would be the 47 right there. Making an awful lot of contact with other guys. Trying to go back out front, though, so we don't miss in any action. And unfortunately, Cobble collides with a lapper. That was going to allow Jordan Miller to get a little closer. Seems pretty content with the third place, but you know he's got his eyes on the prize. That would be a win, but a bobble in the whoops. He doesn't go legs. Rowella still closing the gap. Gets through the whoops fairly clean. Oh, a lapped rider comes out of nowhere. That's going to mess the flow up just a little bit. Getting sketchy. Just needs a second to breathe and recollect himself. He's going to get it, though, here. Two really easy jumps into an easy turn into a straightaway. But Miller, I, I'm not sure if Miller made a mistake or not, but now they're going to be right up on top of each other. And that's your race leader looking to lap everyone. I, I can't believe it. So right now we got, yeah. It's a little sketchy in the background there. Rubella sitting third, about to get lapped. So maybe a first place isn't in contention. I just realized Jordan Miller went down and lost third. Something seemed a little off to me there, and that's what it was. Jordan Miller loses P3. He's on the little bit of a comeback here, just trying to take it easy. Meanwhile, Tristan beats one rider to go before he laps the entire field and there they are but the race leader will be down in the whoops those have definitely kind of been everyone's kryptonite tonight Varela went down too I that is going to allow Jordan Miller back up into the third place position Things are looking intense and Rowella back down. That will definitely expand the gap just a little bit. Not sure of the exact gap between third and fourth, but I'd say right now it's pretty cozy. Gonna go on board for a lap here with Tristan Beats, who has proven to be the dominant AM rider in this class. And attacking the inside lines right now. Looking to just kind of edge his way through the whoops. Man, oh man. Giving it everything he can give it in the corners. He is looking fast through him. Look at the speed. He's right back on race cobble though now. So here we go. Are we about to see a rider lap the entire field? I believe so. The gap has definitely opened up. There. Yes. It looks like Tristan will go ahead and lap the entire field up to this point. Oh, race cobble. He doesn't even let off. Oh, no. He takes Tristan Beats out. That is a protest 100% if I'm Tristan. But I don't even know. I'm not sure what Cobble's thinking was there. There wasn't even for a position. That was definitely a give the bird to Tristan Beats. Nothing really to show for the contact, but Tristan goes down again. Obviously, the gap too big 
for anything to really come of it, but Cobble will unlop himself after the crash. There's another rider struggling through the warps. Everyone's really struggling. The battle for third and fourth, though, or the battle for third between third and fourth is definitely heating up a little bit. Rabola able to close the gap to Miller. Both of these two looking to be about on the same pace. Oh, Rabola goes for the dirty move. Not really a dirty move, it's a block pass. But unfortunately, it'll take both of them out. But Rowella has still gained the position. Man, that is unfortunate for Miller. Still looking a little scrambled after the contact. Just trying to get his bearings back. I mean, goodness gracious. You cannot make this up. Meanwhile, Trusted Beats just ran the fastest lap of the race, I'm pretty sure. This, yeah, and this late into the race, still running the fa or still running faster laps. I mean, he is just, this is textbook right now for the M's class. Cobble will make a mistake. He tucked the front wheel. That's allowing Rowella, who's down. The gap has grown between Rowella and Miller. Rowella is going to go down, though. That's going to be the position back to Miller. These two have been back and forth all main event long for this third place position. And, and Miller's down. I believe Miller was down again. <coughs> the position will be given right back. I, and the race win. We missed the race win. We'll go to Trustin Beats. I'm going to go ahead and go back now. I don't know if there's even a chance. All Rowella has to do is stay on the bike and pray that cuts don't come back to bite him in the rear. I'm not even sure if he has cuts. But he will go ahead and come home third with Cobble in second and Trustin in first. That would take a lot for Jordan Miller to get that podium back it will not happen it'll stay the same yeah the order will stay the same man that was a, another nail biter of a main event and I believe last will be our 250 not 250 our super mini <laughs> We'll be back after the break, though, so stay tuned for Super Mini Main Event.
Alrighty, we are back. They're currently building the super mini main event scripts right now, so we'll probably have a few minutes of few extra minutes of downtime. In the meantime, though, that will allow me to recover after the last two races I just covered. Cause man, those got chaotic, especially that AMS race. A lot of riders making contact around the first around the first two minutes things really picked up out of it just out of nowhere when the leaders got into the lap traffic <clears throat> we go ahead okay well we will not be looking at chat any any longer after that it was it was worth a shot as soon as i opened it though you know things didn't look too pretty Oh boy, we're gonna have to go to uh we're gonna have to go ahead and go to message lines zero. Chat is getting a little getting a little toxic. Things are not getting any better, so we're done. But it looks like this will be the lineup check on the restart for the super mini class. Super, super exciting as we'll be finally closing the first round of the series off after just a unfortunate series of events that took place Wednesday night. But here we go. Never mind, I forgot. This is lineup just trying to you know I'm just trying to build up the anticipation just how the anticipation is building up in me it looks like we'll be double gated I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna give Ryan Fleming another shot here to pull out the whole shot oh he doesn't and then the lineup it will be Sonny Spicer Oh my, Colin Allen showing Spicer who's boss. And here we go. The final main event of the night. This will be super, super mini LCQ. We're going to go ahead and watch Spicer off the gate, actually. Actually, no, we're going to go with Reyes. Reyes has been quite the starter on the track. And he is not disappointing. He's going to hold the inside to outside line, and he will get the whole shot. Oh, 
Oh my, not a lot of people going down. There's a little bit of contact. Reyes off the track. Didn't lose much time at all. And there's another rider that's Sunny Spicer sliding out after the inside line. So after lap one. Oh, the narrowly contact in the back. So right now the standings are going to go Reyes, Garrett, Beats, Shirley, and Ryan Fleming. I believe that's fourth. No, that's fifth. I'm sorry. Ryan Fleming off the track, though. Back out front, Reyes has taken a really taking the good start and he's running away with it well at least trying to run away with it Seth's keeping him honest not letting him gain Seth Shirley will move up into third though after being fourth he will get around Tristan Fleming not too far behind I'm not sure that is a lapped rider that is down the 116 machine I'm, I'm pretty sure Sunny Spicer or not Sunny Spicer I'm I, Brian Fleming moves up into third. That's my bad. So there is some sort of mistake between Spicer and Beats. Not not Beats. I'm, I don't know. Honestly, that was not paying close enough attention. But out front, Seth will get around Reyes. These two have been kind of at each other's throats not not like in a bad way they've just not really let the other gain left rider almost making contact with reyes in that corner this is where races are won and lost though i feel like it's just through the lap traffic i know it is with cars dirt bikes i mean Shoot, we've seen we've seen races IRL not go in the way or not go in the favor of a rider due to a lapped rider. I believe it was uh twenty twenty one, I believe it was Wilson who prevented Roxen from winning what I believe is San Diego. I could be wrong. Fleming still keeping it in third, though. Not really much has happened in the time that I went on my little rant between Seth and Reyes. JR, though, keeping him honest. We're going to go on board for a lap with JR Reyes as he hunts down the 97 machine of Seth Garrett. I mean, this will just show you how tight and chaotic this track is. That was a mistake. I believe making contact with a lapped rider by Seth. So Reyes is going to say even closer. A little bobble in the rhythm though. But that is a lap. That is just showing you the carnage on the track from the rider's perspective. Reyes though keeping Seth very honest. Really eager to try to make the move. Gets through the whoops, kind of. Oh, loses the back wheel up the face into the rhythm. That's going to allow Seth to just pull away a little bit. Seth, he makes contact with the 186. I believe that's Hayden Davey, if I'm not mistaken. Davey trying to get out of the way. Fleming still keeping it in third. A pretty comfortable gap. I mean, Seth with a mistake. Reyes going to capitalize on said mistake. I'm sure these two will be back at it in the next few laps. They've been on each other's rears all night through every race they've been in together. A lapped rider. Oh, who is that? That's, that's Hayden D. Hayden D has taken Seth Garrett, Seth Garrett out. That's going to allow the gap to grow there with Reyes. Oh my. Some drama has unfolded at the 4 minute 45 second mark of the main event. I, I'm i flabbergasted. There was no intent of letting off. He really wanted Seth Garrett to feel his pain. 
giving it up though right now for Ryan Fleming, who is holding third place down. Absolutely outstanding so far. Oh, Tristan. Oh, he gets caught in a very awkward position. Fleming will go down. Bryce is trying to make the move on Fleming. Reyes, meanwhile, getting through lap traffic. The gap has grown quite significantly. And I mean, oh my. The gap right now between Reyes and Seth, 8.672 seconds. A few laps ago, that gap was probably less than two tenths. It's just the way the cookie crumbles in Arena Cross. You get into lap traffic and stuff just starts not going your way if you're not careful enough. Looking, we're gonna get an onboard lap with Seth here as he tries to hunt down your leader, J.R. Reyes. I'm sorry, I accidentally fat fingered the tab key. Look at how rough the whoops are, and look at the lap traffic. That is what you have to deal with in Arena Cross. I mean, really, it's in any, it's Supercross or Arena Cross, but the size of the Arena Cross track increases the difficulty tenfold. We're going to go back out front to your leader here, who is just in a flow. He's really been in a flow all night. I mean, that's, that's really all you can say at this moment. Colin Allen moves up into fourth here, looking to pressure Ryan Fleming for a podium. The gap there is about four, four and a half seconds. Seth needs to get himself in check here if he wants a chance at trying to catch Reyes. Although it looks like Reyes is about to about to make the move to lap a little bobble though and Seth Garrett is down again and there is your leader J.R. Reyes to lap Seth Garrett who is sitting in second Reyes <coughs> will be the second rider tonight to lap people or to lap the entire field not to lap people Colin Allen made the move Oh, Reyes and Garrett are down. So Colin Allen will move into second. Little mistake, though. Seth is still going to be here. Now trying to hunt down Colin Allen for second. But Reyes! I missed the last lap again. Reyes will bring it home in first place for the Super Mini Class. Followed by Colin Allen, then Seth Garrett in third will round out your podium. Ryan Fleming finishing fourth. Bryce, I'm not even going to try to say your last name, finishes fifth. Tristan will bring it home in sixth. Sonny Spicer in seventh. Seth Shirley in eighth. Hayden Stevenson at ninth. And then Zane Yurick. I hope I said that right. We'll round it out your top ten. Thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight and just making it a tremendous night. I mean, it was a it was a blast to commentate. I'm only going to get better, so the action will get better, hopefully, uh, as I get a little bit better. But, uh, yeah. So, with all that being said, we will see you next Wednesday, 8.30 EST. For round two of the Finca Arena Cross series.